So, I got some cool stuff, and I wanted to do a special mystery box, or mystery unboxing. Oh, uh, man, this is what it is. Okay, I know it's a shoe box, but uh, I didn't have any nice boxes. <laughs> so, and they didn't come in boxes. You see what I mean. All right, so I try to make this as fancy as possible. So, let's see what this mystery unboxing is. All right, so you're wondering what this special thing is. All right, you're about to see. Okay. So let's see what this is, this grab bag of unboxings. What? Uh-oh. These look like game cartridges. Yes. That's what these are. Check that out. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. There's more. Well, there's more games. Okay. All right. So, why was I, I uh, excited about these? Well, I'm excited about them because, obviously, they're games. And uh, I'm a huge retro gamer. Games that I grew up with. And these are the games, the types of games that I actually grew up with. And so, obviously, so you can tell, these are Atari games. Um... Man, uh, when I got my first game system, it was the Atari 2600. Uh, uh, not the one with the wood grain, but the newer versions afterwards. And man, uh, I actually walked by a game store and then they had this like pile of stuff. Everything was on clearance or something. They had like some Christmas special. Anyway, I saw these. And I was like, whoa, they're Atari cartridges. And then they were like a dollar each. <laughs> so um, I couldn't pass that up. These are just one dollar. You know, I'm, I don't collect many type of game hardware. But man, when I saw these, I had to get them. Obviously, I don't have an Atari. And so uh, I can't play them. But nostalgia is a powerful thing. And I wish I still had all my old Atari games. I used to love this these cartridges. Look at them. They're... They're solid. Uh, I love the feel of them. And then the artwork too. The artwork on some of them is really nice. Raiders of Lars Ark. Everybody remembers Indiana Jones. Maybe some people don't, but that was awesome. Here is real sports volleyball. Yes, real. This one came out in 1988. Let's see when this Lucasfilm 1982. Okay, cool. Okay, so these... Are more like the standard Atari 2600 but then you also had some that were a little unique now this one's also a standard one as well so you could see there that is a game program bowling 1978 man look at that yeah really and so these were a little different so I got this one because uh, this was common uh, they had multiple games in one that was kind of weird look check it out four game variations in one 1982 u.s games but made in taiwan so used with joystick controller so this one was probably not a great title but this one's a little different check that out so a little different and the licensing issue back then for atari it was pretty much wide open they didn't really have quality control now this one's a little different this is cool check out that artwork yeah, so um, not my favorite artwork, but it's definitely different. Um, this one came out in 1983 by iMagic. It's a cool cartridge. Uh, that's why I got this one, because the cartridge looked different. No Escape, okay. Oh, check that out. Sears Video Game System. <laughs> so I couldn't remember if they had some licensing agreement with the actual department stores where they would put a department store and then put video systems behind it but this one is also similar to this where I'm assuming these are more like hey we're gonna make some games and you know we're just gonna release them you know and what differentiated these are probably the type of cartridges that they came out with that's how they differentiate themselves but since they were I guess unofficial I guess games uh, these are the more official ones. The more official ones, you know, they have a uh, consistent look and feel right there. See, as you can see the difference. And 
you know you could definitely see the difference right there you know this versus this okay and so uh that's what i wanted to talk about today i saw this you know it's a dollar i couldn't help myself i mean i might never get a atari system to play this but i'm going to keep these because they remind me uh, so much of my childhood uh, these are the type of unboxings that i love to do when i was a kid you know when you got a new atari game um, you just just break it open you know and i don't know you would get excited like i did here this is how i felt when i was a kid when i saw these games and so that's it for this episode i just wanted to share that with everyone if any of you are familiar with any of these atari games or you had your own uh, unboxing fun when you were a kid be sure to leave that in the comments area below and as always if you did get value out of these videos be sure to subscribe for serious youtubers check out tubebuddy the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below